So, so Keith, um, one of the strands of democratization that I see is to make hitherto quite complicated uh, software suites, which only physicists and engineers could really understand, much more visible to lay people like me. Can you give an example of how Autodesk has done that? Oh, certainly. So there's a couple of errors, actually. So finite element analysis, or FEA, or CFD, computer, computational fluid dynamics, are a couple of areas that traditionally have been dominated by, you know, uh, specialists with PhDs and doctorates in computer computational science and whatnot. What we've done at Autodesk is drive many of those tools and technologies to the level that engineers can use them, that frankly, even in some cases, school children can use them so that we can start to get value from them. A very practical example of that is uh, an engineer wanting to design an impeller. He needs to know how the fluids are going to interact around the impeller. He needs to know the fluids. He doesn't need to know the, comp the computational science behind that. Meanwhile, who knew? The digital entertainment the artists out there want to know how smoke will move across a room for a movie. All right, they don't need to know the physics either. They want to know that the, cla uh, the, the uh, smoke that they're visualizing, for example, in a movie looks right. That's all they care about. That's all they need to know about. And we've abstracted the technology so that they can do that without having to worry about some of the detail. A really practical example of that is how we uh, bring those two areas together. So for the first time, for example, using results from a manufacturing simulation onto, say, how a material will flow in a tooling simulation, we can bring those results into a visualization tool. And for the first time, we can actually see what a product's going to look like when it's made. Not an idealized version of the product that was made in a CAD system, but the real thing. And that's making a tremendous impact to all sorts of people. In that particular case, the designers suddenly have an ability to see what the manufacturing process is going to do to their design. That's incredibly powerful. We're seeing that everywhere. That's one of the reasons why, frankly, we've been delivering the suites to our products over the past few years. We can get these different tools working together and allowing the different engineers and designers to start seeing the effects of their work across a much broader array of disciplines than they've ever done before. That's tremendously powerful. And, and just finally, uh, another strand of democratization, I suppose, is um, educating young people. There's a big push in the UK, uh, as, it, as there is elsewhere, to re-educate uh, a somewhat complacent audience as to what engineering and manufacturing really means, the modern definition. Autodesk is well known for giving away lots of suites of software to universities and colleges. Um, can you tell me, uh, beyond that, what you're doing to re-educate the young people? That's a good question. Autodesk has a severe ed focus on education. Right? It's one of the biggest areas to educate the engineers of the future. Uh, so, in addition to driving our tools to those users, we're also listening to them what they need. They're going to be the users of the future, so their input is tremendously important to our products. You know, how, uh, how my son, for example, interacts with tools on an iPad. Now, I've got an example here on my iPad. My son and I, who's six, interact with our engineering tools. He thinks he's playing. He's doing a bit more than that. That's tremendously useful. So Autodesk today is touching millions of students daily with its uh, programs for engineering. We've seen a lot of that at Autodesk University. In fact, we highlighted some of them on main stage. As a, as a young 27-year-old engineer now designing robots to go to the moon. Incredibly, incredibly powerful stuff. He's going to be the future, and we're investing in that quite heavily here at Autodesk. Well, Keith Perrin of Autodesk, thank you very much. Thank you.